like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna watch a sunny V2 video. Completely original for any streamer. I haven't actually watched any his videos on his own channel. I've only seen Fire Sun Echo react to it a few times. But I actually, I might have seen like one a while ago. But I mean, it's good to actually post it. Pretty up the eye. The da the dumbest I can the can swim is the beast. Let's see what else happens. From people being angry at Chris for dressing up as a helicopter, to the vegan teacher claiming what? that Mr. Beast was promoting violence by not having pineapple on his largest slice of pizza. These what? are the absolute dumbest attempts to cancel Mr. Beast, and it all begins with an image of a helicopter from back in 2014. Remember when people were going around making the joke that they identify as an Apache attack helicopter? It was a oh, meme yeah, again that's... back in 2014 when a user on Reddit posted a deliberately ridiculous paragraph reading, I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. People say to me that a person being a helicopter is impossible, but I don't care. I'm beautiful. I'm having a plastic surgeon install rotary blades, 30 mm oh, yeah. cannons, and AMG 114 Hellfire missiles on my body. Oh, yeah, if you don't accept me, you're a heliphobe and need to check your big privilege. Thank you for being so understanding. Well, Mr. Beast and Chris incorporated this copy past and word for word in the 2016 video. People say to me, I'm having the plastic surgeon install rotary blades. It's time to live my dream! <laughs> I mean, I guess the actual reasons were not worse than this. Yes. Hey girl, you want some attack helicopter? I was actually born a tank, but sadly it wasn't one of our 52 genders. And if we take the joke and rank it on a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being least yeah. offensive and 10 being most offensive, it probably wouldn't even hit 1 on the scale, because the only thing at the front of the joke is a flying metal vehicle. Yeah. Yet, because they were making a joke about identifying as something other than their normal selves, some of Twitter's finest would call the video out over four years after it was originally posted. Mr. Beast exposed for what some fans have called a transphobic video. In a now deleted 2016 video, Mr. Beast says, I was born a tank, but sadly it wasn't one of our 52 genders. The claim that this was distasteful was clearly ridiculous, and the comments supported such. Where's the transphobia? In their imaginations. I didn't know about the discrimination attack helicopter's face till now. Chill, the video was obviously a meme. Don't try to cancel one of the best people on the planet because they made a video about being an attack helicopter. Literally so many people would be cancelled for nothing. What was even funnier was that the people... Hey, where are the downloads? I don't use Twitter, obviously. That's just got me out. Literally so many people would be cancelled for nothing. Okay. What was even funnier was that the people who were supposed to be offended by the video weren't even offended by it. As a trans person, I found this so funny at the time, and I still do. It's honestly so sad that you get mad over stuff like this. It's obviously a joke. LMAO, my transgender sibling, was laughing so hard at this. After reading the comments, I was glad to discover that I'm not the only trans person who thought his joke was funny. Yet these comments didn't stop the original person who was trying to cancel Mr. Beast, who would continue with this excellent piece of investigative journalism by DMing Mr. Beast and Chris before stating, Hi Mr. Beast, hope you're doing well. I was recently sent a video where you and your friend Chris Tyson make some seemingly transphobic remarks. Chris says he identifies as a helicopter. You make some remarks about gender. It's a video from 2016. Can you comment? The whole thing was best Anything summarized by the commentary channel Memeify. Genuine question. How are you this sensitive to humor? Even just a joke about attack helicopters offends them this badly. And while this cancellation attempt was extremely petty, it was nothing compared to another which would happen. Wait, wait. Who was the guy? Laughing. What some What some fan... Yeah, says, I was was clearly ridiculous. It doesn't exactly look like a major no, cancellation. No, no, no. It was it just nothing to like one another tweet. which would happen at a later date. This and just a joke about attack helicopters offends them this badly. And while this cancellation attempt was extremely petty, it was nothing compared to another which would happen at a later date. This new no. one being so dumb that even PewDiePie jumped in to defend Mr. Beast. Oh. It began in November 2021 after the incredibly popular Squid Game video was posted. Oh yeah, Mr. Mr. Beast Mr. Beast Mr. The entire Oh, if you have so much money, then you should not... You should be using it for hateful purposes.
What do you mean you give like 10 million for trees? Where do you are you spending my video? Switching through the prize of $456,000 for the winner of the video. Now this meant that the format wasn't much different to any of his other challenge style videos. He puts up a bunch of money in the beginning, various people compete for it, and whoever wins is rewarded with a pretty heavy payday. However, for some reason in the case of Squid Game, the success of the video seemed to trigger the response that the money should have instead been donated to charity. I'm sure that money couldn't possibly have benefited anyone okay. else. Imagine using this money to actually help those who need that, not for fun. You could have just donated the 1.5 million. Now, this argument makes a lot of sense as an extremely basic surface level idea. However, when you factor in a little thing known as reality, it crumbles pretty damn quickly. Firstly, it's infuriating because it can be applied to any amount of money. Oh, you got ice cream on the weekend and got two scoops? Why didn't you get one scoop and donate the rest to charity? Oh, you bought a new car? Why didn't you buy a second-hand car and donate the rest to charity? The fact that it's valid in all situations with any any amount of money makes the never-ending loop of why didn't you just spend less and donate the rest to charity. And to say that it's different in Mr. Beast's case just because it's a larger sum of money shows immaturity and that the people making these claims haven't thought through the problem in its entirety. The claim also displays an embarrassing level of ignorance about Mr. Beast's long-term vision as it fails to they take into account that the money the video is that we get video will and go on to earn people. more money, which over the long run he has more than likely end a charity, a philanthropy type. Multiple other random fucking like, no, just giving money away to people. In the month that the Squid Game video was posted, <laughs> like, Mr. Beast gained close to 10 million subscribers, and with Mr. Beast's main message being one of helping others, how can we be so sure that those inspired by his message wouldn't donate more than three and a half million to charity themselves over the long run? So sure, he could take the whole 3.5 million and dump it into a charity, but at the end of the day, it's simply a poor short-term strategy. The other problem with these people putting pressure on Mr. Beast to give money to charity is that they probably don't even donate money themselves. Yeah. Getting to the point where you're comfortable giving money away requires an unbelievable amount of personal development. That's why it's a respectable thing to do. And the people who have reached this point of being charitable are not the same people who spend their life on Twitter calling out Mr. Beast for being a bad person. Thankfully, almost everyone echoed this sentiment. He gives a lot of money away yeah. and through this method he can generate future revenue to help more people. I think he's done a hell of a lot more for the people than you have. Grow up. Look at his channel and tell me he doesn't help people. Grow up. Let this man spend his money however he pleases. The cancellation attempt was so pathetic that even PewDiePie uploaded the stream highlight in defense of Mr. Beast. People were like, oh, you spent all this money like doing this when you could have just like fed the hungry or some shit like that. You spent two, two million building Squid Game and people are like, well, he's not doing enough. This is the problem we put it. Like, people shouldn't have opinions. Yet neither PewDiePie or Mr. Beast was like, yeah, Twitter is just people who don't really do stuff that they never like. Anything from the next Never person done, would attempt the most brain dead cancellation attempt of them all, that vegan teacher. It began on the 2nd of August. Oh, yeah, what happened to it? I haven't heard anything about 2021, it. 2021, when that vegan teacher would upload a new enough. video titled Mr. Beast, right. no amount you give to charity can undo the damage you are causing by promoting eating meat. Now, we need to preface this section by explaining that being provocative really? is the vegan teacher's main method of growth. Her formula is oh, simple. God. She picks beloved influencers such as Gordon Ramsay, what the f- Darman, man, then goes out of her way to frame them as anti-vegan in any way possible. This, in turn, gives the commentary Damn. community a reason to talk about her, providing her with growth through content. Controversy. That is like the safest of all safe beauty. <laughs> in a similar way to Jelly Bean or Wings of Redemption, and with this in mind, it's hardly surprising that the vegan teacher would eventually come for Mr. Beast. Should begin by reviewing his I Ate a $70,000 Golden Pizza video by stating that there are millions of children starving around the globe, and that instead of buying an expensive pizza, the $70,000 would be spent on hunger. Before we watch him eat a $70,000 pizza, let's look into the eyes. Of this child, there are millions of children around the world who are starving to death. Seventy thousand dollars could buy a lot of food. Only this started the vegan teacher's argument oh. for footing, as it failed to include the fact that five months prior, Mr. Beast had begun based philanthropy, with the first four out of five videos on the channel doing exactly what the vegan teacher was complaining about: feeding people without access to food. Do more research. He has donated millions to the hungry and the homeless. He's also one of the biggest philanthropists on here. Vegan teacher, those 70,000 could have gone towards feeding starving children. Also, he bought everything in the store and donated it to charity or whatever, but that doesn't matter. He literally has a food bank to give food to families oh, wait, that yeah. can't afford it. That Meanwhile, the vegan teacher was doing absolutely nothing to help solve world hunger herself. When you search up that vegan teacher charity, unsurprisingly, nothing comes up, with her only attempt at feeding the hungry being her complaining about others not feeding. 
feeding the hungry. Upon visiting her Patreon, it states, Each donation, big or small, helps to sustain me so I can devote more time and resources to helping save the animals by educating others about not eating, wearing, or using them. Which the roughly translates to something like, the money. This money is going to make, let me make videos to complain about other people. It will go directly into my bank account, Nothing and I'll continue to make videos framing decent people as equal anti-vegans, which is what she will do to Mr. Beast as her first video continued to roll. The vegan teacher's next criticism was that Mr. Beast didn't specify whether or not each item of food was vegan. $5,000 tacos. Are they vegan tacos made with beans and vegan cheese? This is $1 pizza. Is that vegan cheese? This is a $2 hot dog. What the is that a vegan hot dog? Yet when you think about it for a couple of minutes, this would actually be an incredibly dumb thing for Mr. Beast to do, as it would set an impossible high standard for future videos. For example, if Mr. Beast attempted to appeal to the vegans once by stating that he was eating vegan food, he'd run the risk of backlash in future videos as the audience could now use leverage against him by stating, oh, you were eating vegan food before, why didn't you continue doing so, yeah. ironically making the consumption of meat less controversial. Additionally, while vegans have a reputation for being quite vocal, according to the data, only 2% of the US population is vegetarian, and out of that, oh, only 0.5% of the population is vegan, and therefore making content to more vegans would be a poor strategy. When Mr. Beast is standing like, on like, numerous occasions, that his goal is to simply reach the widest audience possible. The vegan yeah. teacher would then go on to state that Mr. Beast's video of him eating different foods worth different amounts of money was promoting violence and destroying the environment. Mr. Beast, unfortunately, I have given oh. you so many X's here for promoting the violence for not talking about the environment. Before going on to state that he needed to become a vegan animal. For not talking about the environment. <laughs> what? That life is insane. Well, activists in order to undo the non-existent damage. You need to go back and undo the damage that you've done. The first thing that what? you can do, Mr. Beast, number one, is become vegan. Number two, become an animal rights activist for the rest of your life. Tell people that the videos that you've done in the past, including this one, that you're ashamed of and that you wish you had never done them. Which was concluded by the vegan teacher demanding Mr. Beast apologize in her comments section. Okay. Mr. Beast knows about my my channel here. Make sure that he subscribes and that he joins me in the comment section to tell me that he's going to change. Unsurprisingly, the vegan teacher never got the apology. However, one thing she did receive in the point? video was an impressive dislike ratio of 96.4% on <laughs> That is so Women such as, awful. he literally spends most of his money saving the world and helping others. The amount of money he donated to people in need and to plant trees is more than you can make in 100 years. Beast is a legend. He doesn't deserve this. However, with the vegan teacher's video receiving more views than any of her other uploads, yeah. only six days later she posted another video attempting to cancel Mr. Beast, this time titled, At Mr. Beast, Stop Paying for Animal Abuse, in which she'd gone to call Mr. Beast out for not oh, specifying okay. whether or not the base of the ice cream they were eating was vegan. But what is the base made out of? Is the base made out of something vegan? I don't know what you're eating. It's, it's some sort of cake, but you didn't. So I'm going to put another X because it's you're not saying not. specifically that it's vegan. Two weeks after this statement, the vegan teacher would upload a third video in which she'd state that Mr. Beast was again promoting violence, this time by not having fruit and vegetables on his pizza in what? the I ate the world's largest slice of pizza video. Where is the pineapple? X. What on earth? What is this pizza? There is just not one. Okay, then. What? Where is the pineapple? In the bin, hopefully. But the, it's the pizza. That's the matter on it, I'm pretty sure. What the? What? I've never heard anyone complain about that not being pineapple or something. A single vegetable on there? Where are the mushrooms? Where's the spinach? Where's the broccoli? What else have you got in there? You have no green peppers? No hot peppers? That's not, that's not food. What is that? Is there even sauce on there? Is there even tomato sauce? This was best summarized by a comment reading, someone needs to explain to the vegan teacher that putting vegetables on something doesn't make it vegan. However, this was still nothing oh, compared to that vegan yeah, teacher's yeah. most outrageous comment of all three videos. She'd state that because Mr. Beast had a professional hot dog eater in his video, this was promoting the food poutine. Poutine has cheese in it, cheese comes from milk, and milk is taken from cows, and therefore Mr. Beast is promoting the act of stealing. Why are you promoting people that eat large amounts of food? And not only does he hold the world record for hot dogs in, but he has so many... Did you even say vegan hot dog at all? What else do you got here? This is... I mean, it's obviously just supposed to be brought to it. Poops in with but cheese on it? Cheese is, comes from milk, which is stolen from mother. Like, surely this is bad, huh? 
after their babies were taken from them. Do you think that kidnapping is okay, Mr. Beast? Kidnapping babies and stealing from them? Do you think that stealing is okay? Apparently you do. Unsurprisingly, all three of the vegan sketches have tossed to cancel Mr. Beast failed miserably, as did the two we discussed earlier. In fact, there really hasn't been a single bit of Mr. Beast drama that's had the slightest effect on his reputation. Yeah, his bulletproof public image and masterful management of controversy turn every cancellation attempt into water off a duck's back. Hallelujah. Mr. Beast, as I did, get out of here. Yeah,